Enjoy your walk, girls. Yes, Miss Hardroom. Right, we're out of sight of the school. Where are our sweets, Mildred Hubble? Wait till we're off the lane. Five in a group. Cackles Academy rules. You couldn't have got out for a walk at all without us. Yes, but if Ruby hadn't come down with the flu... We know, Jadu. Just give us the sweets you promised and we'll clear off. Don't worry, Drusilla. We wouldn't keep you half a minute longer than we had to. Don't you try and get clever with me, Jadu Wally, or you'll live to regret it. I'm going to give you one more chance Look, and then... that man up there. What's he doing? <gasps> <gasps> Let's help him. Can I give you a hand? Thank you. What were you doing up there? A little bird fallen out of its nest. I, I was just... And then... Oh. Is it okay? Fine. No, it was a very kind thing to do. You goes off to a fancy dress party or something? It's our school uniform. Oh, very smart. Cackles Academy, up there on the hill. Never heard of it. Where are you going? Uh, look, I'm meant to be meeting up with my new boss. Going to be in enough trouble as it is. Thanks a lot. Sam Hope's the name. See you. Why oh, have you got these? Thank you. Nice chap, silly fool. Give us our sweets. Oh, and the rest. That's all we've got. Come off it. You said you'd give us all your sweets. You've got them. Right, I've had enough of this. Turn out your pockets. <sighs> you tricked us. You made out you had loads of grub. You've always got loads. You shouldn't jump to conclusions. Come on. You wait till you get back to school. Miserable cheats. <sighs> I wonder if there are any eggs up in that nest. Hello. What's this? Hey! Special promotion! Treat yourself to cream cakes at Cozy's Old Mill Tea Rooms. Free with this leaflet. Oh, yes, yes, yes! No. What do you mean, no? It's out of bounds. So? So? I'm starving. Me too. And, and me. me. Couldn't we just this once? We don't know how. Sweets. It's the very last spell they teach us. Improvise. Like Miss Cackle says. It's not always the right words. It's, it's the, the right, right feelings. feelings. Fingerous, licking us. Morseless, tasty. Send some snacks and make it hasty. <gasps> <gasps> well done, Enid. What did you wrong? Make it hasty. I just wish I heard something to fill this empty hole in my stomach. Look out! It's only paper. Wow! A free cake promotion at Cozy's Cafe. You did it, Millie. Did I? I've heard Cozy's is brilliant, but it's out of bounds, isn't it? Which way is it? What did I tell you? Yes, but I still don't like the idea of them scoffing our free cream cakes. Revenge, Drusilla, will be sweeter. And that, Samuel Hope, is your reason for keeping me waiting in the flaming wilderness for half an hour. If we acquire this land for Nimbian landfill, we have the chance of a mega deal here, some of which could be in your bonus statement this very month. What do you have to say to that? Thank you, Mr. Slice. No, no, Sam. What have I told you? I can achieve. I will achieve. That's better. This is the area N and L wish to develop. This is the area we already have in the bag. Hmm? You will observe right in the center, however, a spot, a pimple, a black hole in our millions called Tozy's Tea Room. Is that a problem, Sam? No, Mr. Slice. It's a challenge. Ah. <laughs> I think I might be getting through. Have they decided what they're going to build on it, Mr. Slice? Of course Slice? they have. It's top secret. For our eyes only. 
An N and L multi-grade Maxiox high-grade disposal plant. Artist's impression. A giant incinerator for toxic waste. Nobody's to know until all the contracts are signed. Why not? Standard business practice, sir. Holy smoke. What's that? Artist's impression of the plant in action. But uh, don't get sentimental. I mean, nobody lives up there. There's squirrels and birds and badgers. They'll move. They move all the time. That's nature, Sam. Well, and there's a girls' school somewhere around here. Idiot! That's Overblow Castle. It's a ruin, completely uninhabited. Uh, look sharp. Somebody's coming. Morning, miss. Morning. Nice to get out in the fresh air, right? Eh? And you know what they say about cozies? A daytime treat of dairy cream, a perfect pastry paradise. <laughs> sure I mean, what harm can it do? With a demanding job like yours, you need a place where you can relax, where nobody knows you're there, where you can sit back on the sofa and enjoy a nice warm scone with lemon cheese and clotted cream on top. <laughs> Isn't that right, Miss Cackle? I couldn't have put it better, Mrs. Cozy. <laughs> now, it's all in jeopardy. <laughs> there, there, Mrs. Cozy. Come and sit on the sofa beside me and tell me all about it. I've been getting these letters. The Department of Health and Safety. Looks very official. It's subsidence. What? The earth is slipping. There's some sort of a, a fault in the pastry. You mean the crust? A geological fault? That's right. It might just open up and all of this might fall in. No more cream cheese teas, Miss Cackle, ever again. Appalling. There's a man coming around today to inspect the premises. I don't suppose there's anything professional you could do about it, Miss Cackle. I'd dearly love to, but we witches aren't supposed to interfere, you know, with the workings of nature. Oh. The trouble with you, Samuel Hope, is that you don't live on the same planet as me. Just because we saw a woman out jogging and she was wearing a tracksuit, and just because you met some girls who told you some made-up story, it doesn't follow that she is their PE teacher. Well, someone is. What? Following. It's those girls again. I expect they're off to the tea room. They mustn't see us together. Why not? I'll tell you later. You haven't seen me. Hello. Did you find your bus? Yes. Uh, no. He must have got fed up waiting for me. You offer some cakes? Yes. We've got a free offer. Dropped out of the sky, did it? How did you know? Oh, little bird told me. I think you deserve it for coming to my rescue. Where are your other school friends? We go to the same school. It doesn't make them our friends. I expect they're making someone's life some misery somewhere. Now then, Ethel and Drusilla, before we go any further, I hope you're not leading me on a wild goose chase. No, no Miss Hardbroom. We told them Cozy's was out of bounds, but they wouldn't listen. They said there were going to be free cream teas. They tried to make us go with them. But we said no, and if you insist on carrying on, we're going to have to go back to school and tell Miss Hardbroom. And then Mildred said, we don't care about stinky old HP. You go tell her if you like. Did she now? Some inappropriate words to that effect, Miss Hardbroom. Shall we go back to school now and get on with some work? No. You can both come along with me to this den of iniquity and, as they say in the constabulary, help me to corroborate the details. There, there, Mrs. Cozy. Don't let it get you down. <laughs> Why don't I look at some of these letters? It may not be as bad as you think. You're right, Miss Cackle. I'm getting myself all worked up and letting myself down. Have a cream slice. No. You have it. 
This is Cozy's, where the day-to-day dog-eat-dog world is left at the door. Customers, I have a special cake promotion on this afternoon, and I'm expecting quite a crowd. Mm. Yes, it looks, it smells, it's so cozy. cozy. Good afternoon, girls. Good afternoon, Miss. Miss Cozy, you girls are from the Academy? Yes. No. no. Well, yes. I understand. Everybody needs to bend the rules sometimes. How about a nice out-of-the-way table where you girls can be comfortable together? Bullet point 22, you say, in my opinion, madam, it could happen at any time. Then, bullet point 23, you have tea and cake in a corner. Then, bullet point 24, I arrive and buy the cafe for a song. And that, Samuel, my son, is a perfect business plan. There's a lot of telling lies in it, and cheating, and making money out of misleading people. I told you! Perfect! <sighs> Miss Drill? Yes, Miss Hardbrum. Do you know anything about free cream teas today at Cozy's Cafe? No, not that I've heard of. Here we are. <laughs> 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 Can I help you? Cream tea? Yes. Uh, well, uh, yes and no. I'm the man from the Department of Health and Safety. Cackle's a dear, dear friend of mine. She's the head of a special school for girls, Cackle's Academy. Up on the hill. You've heard of us? Yes. I mean, no. What would health and safety want with Cozy's tea rooms? I don't know. There's nothing wrong with these cakes. I'm sure some help wouldn't cause any trouble. He's got very kind eyes. <laughs> I can't bear the thought of it. Customers, how soon do you think this this crumble may happen, Mr. Hope? Well, I'm not saying today, now. But now, come along, young man. I know about these things. The school roof has been condemned for thirty years, but there's only ever little chunks of it fall down. Now, tell me the truth. Well, it may be all right for quite a while. In my opinion, it may happen at any time. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? We've got to get out of here. Quick, let's run for the door. I presume. I am Constance Hardbroom, deputy head of Cackle's Academy. She's had a nasty shock. Not because of yourself, that is. More of a... A tremor! A quake! 
Enter at your own risk, Miss Hardbroom. My opinion precisely. Indulgence of the flesh weakens the spirit. I'm looking for some girls from our school. We can't stand here forever. When I say go, we race for the door. One, two, three. <gasps> Hello, anyone there? Can I help you? Percy Slice, Mrs. Cosy. I'm so pleased to meet you. I've heard so very, very much about your establishment. The boots? Have you come for the special offer? Oh, Round boots. Well, your delicious cream cake, Mrs. Cosy. I've come to make you a special offer. A ray of light in the darkness. A helping hand in time of need. So, when did you last see those other girls, the ones who pulled you from the ditch, who were on their way here and must presumably still be proceeding in this direction? Uh, could you repeat that? Oh. No wonder we're still waiting for answers to letters we sent your office 20 years ago. Perhaps we should go and look for them, Miss Hardbroom. No. We'll wait here for them. Now, I know this won't seem like a very big figure, after all the work you've put in here. But it is ten times more than you're likely to get anywhere else. I understand there's a report pending. Once that goes in, I'm sorry to say, this place will be completely worthless. Then why do you want to buy it? My partner and I are in future subsidence salvage speculation. Excuse me. I didn't hear it ring. Pulse vibrator. Oh. Yes. Yes, she's here right now. She's thinking about it, yes. But I don't want to rush her into anything, you see. Oh, oh, oh right. Really? Well, give me ten minutes. Just give me ten minutes, please. And I ask her that, that as a special favour. Thank you, thank you. bottom's fallen out of the salvage market. I tell you what, it's now or nothing. I'll throw in a hundred pounds, immediate moving expenses. Call it a gift. I wouldn't want to see these precious artworks lost forever. Oh, la, la. I'll have to think about it. Cozy's tea house is it's my whole life. Ten minutes, Mrs. Cozy. All the deal's off! Oh. in the woods. It isn't working. You have to frighten them all. I can't. It's not fair. It's business. You can tell her one more tremor and cozies his kaput. Advise her to sell at any price. I'm going to phone in and I'll keep them sweet. Think of it. When they are in there, Sam, think of all that money. When I come back, I want to see Cozy shaking like a leaf. Psst. They're here. Oh. We've heard everything. Oh. You're not from health and safety. No. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What are you up to? I'm not sure precisely what game you're playing at, Ethel and Drusilla, but the fact of the matter is that I'm beginning to get extremely suspicious. And I don't want to hear any more stories. I'm going to wait another ten minutes, and if there's still no sign of Mildred and her friends, I'm going to march you straight back to school to see Miss Cackle. And you know how she feels about sneaky and underhand behaviour. What? Ah. You can't let them do this. The woods, the animals, our school. Well, you've just got to stand up to him. I try, but I can't. It's true what he says. I am a great soft lump. His heart's in the right place. He's just got no bite. Maybe we could give him some. What? Look at him. Pictured teeth. Quite a few teeth. I see what you mean. Yeah. Come here, Sam. 
Now, don't panic. It's just a little trick we learned at school. You'll find it quite useful, and the effects will wear off eventually. All together. Alvarix, Orcus, Transdogomorphus, Woofus, Ruffus, Transfers, Matus! Sing the signature for me. And when you see your headmistress, would you tell her? I'm so sorry. She'll know what I mean. Well, Mrs. Kersey, oh. it's decision time. It's now or never. If I were in your position, I know what I'd do. Aha. If I were in your position, Percy Slice, I know what I wouldn't do. Miss Kirkle? That's right. The headmistress of the imaginary school you were happy to see choked out of existence. And what I wouldn't do is lay one finger on that contract. Mildred! It's all been a wicked plot, Mrs. Cosy, to take your tea rooms and turn them into a filthy incinerator. You can call it what you like, girl, but there are millions at stake here, and this is all I need to put them my way. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, I'm afraid. Quite so, Mr. Slice. Mildred. Sick him, Sam. Take it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Room. I've declared this an afternoon out. You know what that means. A holiday. More than that, tomorrow we will forget that we were here together. An afternoon that never happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Miss Hardroom. Have the scorn. Leave that day-to-day dog-eat-dog -dog world at the door. This is Cozy's. Sam, we forgot all about him. Sam, we saved your best bit. Thanks. But I've had a few bones on the way. I think for services to all kinds of poor defenseless creatures. It's Mildred who should take the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> 